My hair looks amazing. Can we please just start? Hi, we changed the studio. A much prettier one. Today we're talking about things that really only Colombians say, like other Latin countries. Anyway, supposedly, I look them all up on the internet because that's what I do, and then I'm verifying them with an actual Colombian. You're indeed an actual Colombian, right? I am. Okay, so the first one I'm going to bring up is, uh, it's kind of a forward thing. Apparently, like, when you're going to a coffee shop or a store or something, you ask for a gift, like, flat out ask for a gift, and I'm going to say it wrong, I'm sure, but regaleme. Yeah. You go Why? up to the coffee shop and you say, regaleme un café, por favor. Un cafecito. Regaleme un cafecito, por favor. That yeah. we're coming to the cito <laughs> part. Why? Do they ever give it to you? Yeah, they always do. Like for free? No, you still pay for it. No, but you're you're asking for a gift. Mm -hmm. Yep, regaleme, por favor. It's like going into Starbucks and saying, give me a free coffee. No, it's like saying, can you please gift me a coffee? What's a gift? Is it something you pay for? You do pay for it. It's morning, I'm Colombian and drinking coffee. <clears throat> yeah, it's not chocolate with cheese like my daughter. That video, by the way, I'll put up in the corner if you want to check that out. What is uh, the Spanish word for a fat man? Gordo, gordito. Oh, gordito. What is the regular Spanish? Gordo. Gordo. And what's in, and fat girl? Gorda. Or gordita, like a Taco Bell, which is a meal item named Little Fat Girl. That should warn you something right there. What's a popular term of endearment for your friends in Colombia? Of endearment for your significant other. You have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a husband yeah. or wife. Mom and you, calls you call my dad fat. Gordo. Calls him fat. Yeah, he's like, Gordo. 75 and Same. he runs three miles a day and she calls him fat. Yeah. When's the last time she ran three miles? Just saying. What's with the ita and ito? Because no. nobody else does that. They don't even do that in Venezuela, and they say a lot of the same things. Aguita? Aguita. Sí. And that's an intangible. That doesn't mean a little water or a little, like you'd have in a cup. It's like the lake, or water in general as it exists in the universe, is aguita. Mm -hmm. sí. Why does that make sense? Because that's how we talk. Okay, well, the sun's gonna make us all... That's okay, we'll work with it. Okay, can we keep going? Let's look at the camera. Since we're talking about water, what with the sinks? What's up with that? Why can't you just call them a sink like everybody else? What do you mean? Lava, lava mano? platos, lava manos. That's just what we call them. That's where you wash the dishes. That's where you wash your hands. So lava, lava manos, manos, as yeah. a phrase, means to wash hands. No, to wash to hands. wash hands would be lavar manos. <clears throat> okay. Lava? So it's not even conjugated right? Because it's a noun. Is it a noun anywhere but Colombia? I don't know. I just know that's what it is, <laughs> lava manos. What do they call a bathroom sink, say, like in Mexico? I don't know. I'm not from Mexico. Fregadero, I think. Something like that. I think that's actually the, the refrigerator. kitchen sink. No. Fregadero? No. Fregadero, which I think is awful. Why is it awful? I don't know. I just don't like that word. Lava manos and lava platos. Sí. Do they say that anywhere else? I don't know. I just know I do. They didn't say that in Spanish class. What did they teach you in Spanish class? Donde esta la biblioteca? And I actually got to use that phrase for the first time since I learned it as a teenager when we were in Medellin because we were looking for oh, that. Yeah, yeah. we were. And it was like the first them. time ever I got to ask somebody, <laughs> Donde esta la biblioteca? And the airplane wants to be in the video, so we're going to let it, I guess. Hacer una vaca. <laughs> Which in English translates to making a cow. Yeah. <laughs> You're making a cow. What are you doing? We're raising money. For what? For alcohol. We want more alcohol. You're Who's going to get it? Let's to make a beer run. Vamos a hacer una vaca. <laughs> You're making a cow. <laughs> yes, we do. Why is it making a cow? I don't know. I have to read this off the screen because I am not um, Colombian. Más aburrido que mico en un bonsai. <laughs> Is that a real thing? Yeah, it's not as popular. I've heard it, but it's not so popular. More bored than a monkey in a bonsai tree, which is actually kind of funny, but I've never heard it before. Yeah. And apparently it's very Colombian, although I'm going to start saying it in English. Más aburrido que mico en un bonsai. Más canzón que una tostada en un brasier. <laughs> I've never said that or heard that. But I can see, I can see people in Medellin saying that. <laughs> More annoying than a slice of toast in your bra. Yeah. 
More annoying than tallest in your bra, yeah. That's on like 50 websites. It doesn't mean it's real because a lot of them no. just copy each other. But I, I do remember I left Colombia 20 years ago, so my slang, they're probably out of date. Más raro de un perro. <laughs> no. Más raro que un, pedro, que un perro a cuadros. <laughs> Más raro, say it again. Más raro que un perro a cuadros. What is that? <laughs> Weirder than a squared dog. <laughs> Checkered dog, Checkered right? Checkered dog, yeah, actually. Avion, by the way. Oh, there it is. That's how you say that in Spanish. Avion. How you say obnoxious airplane? Más canzón que una tostada no, en brasier. Uh, okay. <laughs> Dar papaya. Yes, dar papaya. Dar papaya is like standing right next to a pool and then bitching about getting pushed in. That that's on you. Dar papaya. Which translates to give a papaya. Yeah. That's what it translates yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> Dar papaya. <laughs> give a papaya. Yep. So if you are standing next to the pool and somebody shoves you in and you get angry, you are giving a papaya. No, 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 no. They don't have a reason to get angry because that's on them. Like it's right. almost like asking for it. Oh, you, you know? asked for it is giving Dar a papaya. papaya. Si. Yeah. Yeah. You asked for it. You know, it's, it's like you walked right into that. That's what, exactly what it means. No, it, exactly right what it means is <laughs> to give a papaya. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, the irony is Colombia is really picky about their Spanish and picks on other countries about things they say and their slang. That means we don't have slang. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, tengo, tengo thanks, mamera. Thanks. Tengo mamera. What's that? Tengo mamera means I don't want to do crap. I'm just, bleh. it's not bored. Mamera is like, struggling, you know? Or I have to go to work, que mamera. That's why you said que mamera before I turn yeah. the camera on. Yeah, here's one that you're gonna love. Mm -hmm. Que oso. What bear? What a bear, que oso. We say that, we say what a bear. What yeah. is what a bear in English? Means what a pain in the butt. No. Que oso in Spanish is, oh my gosh, how embarrassing. In Colombia. Embarrassing, get it? Are there any that I missed that you think I should have said? No, no sé, maybe. Sure, you missed a lot. Parqueadero, parqueadero. That's parking lot. Yep. Why is In that? In Colombia, because everywhere else it's not parqueadero. I parqueadero is actually one of the words that I've had a lot of my Latin friends make fun of me because it's basically parqueadero. Estacionamiento is what most other countries call it. We call it parqueadero. Esfero, esfero. I've also heard is not popular. That's what we call pens. Esfero. Most other places call them bolígrafos. Not pluma. Pluma is feather. Pluma is pen in English, Spain. Spanish, in American Spanish classes. Lapis esfero. y pluma. No, es fero. Lapis y es fero. Okay, so if I say pluma, they're going to look at me funny in Colombia. Hey, in look, Bogotá, there's a squirrel over there. Squirrel! Too bright, and he's too far away it for this like one. It's a chipmunk. It is a chipmunk. That's okay. a total Chippendale. Que se nos olvidó. Díganos en los comentarios. Yeah, if we missed anything, let me know in the comments. Let us know in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, hit subscribe. There are a lot more Columbia videos coming up. Watch one of my daughter's videos if you would too. I'll put that on the screen. And uh, I'll just uh, let the end screen roll out on my beautiful wife enjoying her moment in the spotlight. Super comfortable sitting on pine needles. Yep. Yeah, and the whole outro thing I forgot. Don't forget to enjoy the journey. Welcome to Nicole and Control. Today I'm going to teach you how to make Colombian arepas. 